I'm getting the key on, my man tying the bell for me. <laughs> God, that's not fucking bad, considering I don't do it, is it? But at the end of every year, we have a big grade, and so people who are getting new belts, who deserve new belts, get them every year. And we also do King of the Match, which is an in-house tournament. Everyone gets on the mat at once, last man standing wins. Simple as that. Okay, Paddy! It's nearly Christmas. We don't want anyone getting injured. If someone puts you in something and it's close, just tap and just get off the mat, okay? When you tap someone, you need to put your hand up because you're going to be the next roll. Someone can jump on your back and choke you anytime. Anytime, okay? As long as they're still in. If you don't know that rule, you might find out the hard way. Everyone throws five pounds each in, you know what I mean? Winner takes the pot. That's illegal. Sweaty man. Looks like I've just got out of the bath for an hour. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck about the money, put that <laughs> double that money up for the stroke charity. Nice one, man. <laughs> Wasn't the bad the money on The two pound plastic crown out of BMs all that matters. <laughs> Probably the last massive session before Vegas, lad, but man feels good, lad. I can't wait to get in there, lad, and absolutely smoke Tony Ferguson. Respectfully. Sausage and eggs, lad. Sausage and eggs. The only thing, lad, all these f***ing... We've spoke to them now, like, so there'll be no more peppers. Who even has peppers and onions for the breakfast, lad? And spinach. Who wants any of that for the brekkie, lad? Who wants any of that anyway, never mind for the brekkie? No one wants onions in the breakfast, mate. Nobody. The performance in suit makes them for you, that makes life easy. You know what I mean? Once you get here, lad, you don't got to worry about not and everything sorted by the UFC. But I can't go near these dirty onions and peppers, lad, so they have to get piffed out. 170 I was then, 170.5. So what have we got? There, 15 pounds to lose. Easy work. Done more than that overnight before. We just landed in, in Vegas, so we're gonna go for like pad workouts, do some like little bits and pieces while he's got a bit of energy, but because we're quite in quite early, the real stuff will probably kick in tomorrow.
Yeah, he's a scouser, isn't he? Belter. <laughs> Great coming the PIs to train on tonight when you come to Vegas and you're fighting here that you've got somewhere to train. All your facilities are here, you know what I mean? We're on the mat now. There's actually a wrestling class going on now on the mat with fucking former UFC champions in it, Aljo and Cody Garber and some people like Danny Ige and stuff like that. Feel amazing, lad. Very cliche, as I've said several times on the vlogs this camp, but best I've ever felt. And you're gonna see that come fight night. Uh, my man, hey, you're not fucking fat. What's going on? Like that? Hey, we are seeing you not fat. No, I love this going. Not only fat, I'm in the PI like. I wanted to meet Strickland while we were here as well. I think he's hilarious. The champ, legend. Can't not love Sean Strickland, lad. He's one of the funniest men in MMA. We're just going to uh, Mod Museum, lad, and we've got Embedded following us. We're nice. I love watching like, my favorite type of film, lad, mod film, and that. The experiences we have are firearms training. That puts you in the perspective of a police officer. Yeah. Distillery, we should show you how we make our moonshine, and then you get your taste it. Ben wants to do the moonshine. We want to shoot, and he wants the moonshine, don't you? I'll do the moonshine. <laughs> I love the Godfather, to be honest, the Godfather part one, but also, obviously, Casino as well. Good fellas. Quality, that's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? It shows you all sorts of info and different, obviously the five families in New York, but it shows you like Philly, Florida, all different, um, Miami and that, all different families, you know what I mean? Then obviously Vegas is the main part of it, the casinos and stuff. And then he stood up in court and he said, he had the chin there and he was like, can't remember, don't know who it was, and the chin walked. And on the way out of court, he shook each other's hand. We brought it big into all this, you know what I mean? And that's, that's the reason I know most of this, to be honest. Grab his lad, boss lad, some experience. That, you know, some experience though. I've never ever seen it this empty, never in my life. There's always people here. Even last night when we was here, lad, and I was just getting my massage, that was quite empty, it was a bit dead, but never seen it like this, lad. It's like a ghost town, it's only us here. Everyone must be over at the apex, lad, where the fights are on. I know you do sound like a robot, don't you, when you put that on? This the longest we has ever been going into a fight. It's this time we're getting cornrows, lad. I'm gonna look like little Alan Iverson, baby. I'm doing our fight sim, lad, so last session. Well, last big, proper, tough session. Fight sim with Paul Reed. So basically simulating the fight. Simulating all the manoeuvres that we need to do in the fight. It's much harder than a three, five minute round, to put it that way. Get away from that fucking camera! I need my bowie thing, you know? I'll stop the X-Bar. And finger cut. That's all that, you know? You're right. Yeah. So long. You broke it. Oh. You're more asked about you breaking it than anything else. So you just drop it on it. I I haven't put it in, it's went boom. Okay, just need to do that and then get some fucking ice. kind of finish the camp with this part of the process really where we kind of look at the three five minutes which we try and simulate energy systems the three main energy systems used within the fight and that's what we've done we structured it where he's got a lot of jumps and throws and then working with partners while he's tired around the pummeling moving each other about obviously the shadow sparring with a partner as well side of things where the end of camp we're on a switch on they know this is the end of everything now but a great three feet five minute rounds in exactly the same as we'll be do fighting it's high energy it's going to be tough that's the big thing for Paddy I think psychologically he knows he's got it done three fives there at a higher pace than what I'll fight Tony I don't think it's gonna last three five minute rounds anyway but I'm ready to go three five minute rounds and that's all that matters good to know up here you know what I mean mentally that I can do three fives easily no fight 
It's going to be at that pace, constant work. Tony's not going to be as strong as Paul pummeling. Pushed himself right through the session. He pushed hard. I was pushing him on the pummeling. Ellis was pushing him on the shadow box, and he looked fucking spot on, to be honest with you. Next week, obviously, we start the water load tomorrow, start lowering the carbs down, no salt, and then it's all about making the weight, you know what I mean? All about the weight cut, which is gonna be easy this time around, very easy.